Okay, so I'll admit that I made a mistake. When I got my small dog, Starbuck, I thought that raising a small dog would be easier because, well, they are small. But as I discovered, small dogs, while adorable and cute, can sometimes be even more challenging than big dogs because of their little size. So if you've also got a small dog like me, keep watching and see how many of these things that they do too. One, small dogs love to trip you up. It's true. If you've ever owned a small dog, you've probably tripped over them plenty of times because when a big dog lies at your feet, it's hard not to see them there. But when a small dog does it, it's much easier to miss them. And Starbuck loves to lie at people's feet while they cook, hoping for a treat. And I'll admit it, he's definitely been stepped on more than once. Two, small dogs love to bark. Yes, a lot of people get a small dog thinking that they will be quiet because their bark won't be as loud as a big dog. But I think that most small dog owners, myself included, will tell you that our small dogs can be just as loud as a big dog. And part of that is because while all dogs are different and unique, on average, small dogs bark more than big dogs. There is suggestive evidence that indicates that small dogs instinctively bark more to make themselves appear bigger and stronger. And so, while their bark may not boom as loudly as a German Shepherd's, they more than make up for it by instead just barking a lot. Three, small dogs can be naughty. Yes, while again each dog is unique, studies have shown that on average, small dogs are naughtier than big dogs. I know my dog Starbuck can be very naughty. And honestly, a big part of it is that because he is small, he can get away with a lot of things that a big dog could not. For example, most people don't like it when a big dog jumps up on them to say hello because they're big, so they push them off. But when Starbuck jumps up on most people, because he is small, they find it cute and give him pats. So he effectively gets rewarded for doing it. And so a lot of small dogs aren't naughty because they're naturally naughty. Instead, it's usually because they just get away with a lot more. So it's up to us, their owner, to be just as dedicated to their training. Four, small dogs can have lots of energy. Yes, sometimes people get a small dog thinking that because it's small, that it'll be low energy and easy. But that's not necessarily true. Trust me when I say that size is not a good indicator about how much energy a dog has. For example, despite being one of the biggest dogs, St. Bernard's are low to moderate energy dogs. And Greyhounds, despite their big size, are one of the lowest energy dogs. Whereas my small dog, Starbuck, a Swedish Falhund, is a moderate to high energy dog similar to a corgi. And tiny Jack Russells, that are half the size of Starbuck, are even more energetic and are one of the highest energy dog breeds that there is. If you don't let a Jack Russell run and burn off its energy each day, it'll quickly find its own way of doing that by destroying your pillows. Five, small dogs can eat a lot. Yes, it's true. Just because a dog is small, doesn't mean it'll have a small appetite. Lots of small dogs will eat as much kibble or treats as they can get their paws on. For example, with my small dog Starbuck, if I left out the bag of kibble for him, I'm sure that he would eat the whole thing if he could. When in reality, all he needs is around a cup of his kibble a day. When I saw how little food he needed, I was shocked. That's why vets often say to be careful when feeding a small dog. It's honestly very easy to overestimate how much food they need and overfeed them. Six, small dogs grow up fast. Yep, if you love the cute puppy phase, be warned. With small dogs, it goes a lot quicker than it does for big dogs. With most small dogs, they reach their full adult size in just eight to 12 months. And for some toy and miniature breeds, like Chihuahuas, they reach adulthood even faster in just six to eight months. Compare that then to a German Shepherd, they can take up to three years to reach full size. And so if you love the cute puppy phase, my advice is to take lots of photos while you can. Seven, small dogs can get very hyper. Yep, while yes, it is true that all dogs are unique and some small dogs are not hyper, on average, studies show that small dogs are more prone to getting excited and emotionally aroused than big dogs who tend to be calmer. Eight, small dogs have teeth they can be very hard to clean. 
So most people don't think about this understandably, but many small dogs are prone to gum disease. My dog Starbuck is actually an exception here. Despite being a small dog, Swedish Valhuns like Starbuck have huge mouths, just like Corgis actually, which is why Corgis also often have excellent teeth. But most small dogs understandably have small mouths, which means that the teeth grow up quite close together. That means then that if food falls between their teeth, it often gets trapped, causing plaque to build up, resulting in gum disease. Which is why it is very important to brush their teeth every day and to get them cleaned professionally by your vet. Nine, small dogs love to rip stuff up. Yep, be warned. Just because your small dog might have small teeth doesn't mean that their toys are safe. Because while not all small dogs rip up their toys, many of them love to, because a lot of small dogs were bred specifically to be small so that they would be better at hunting. Take for example Yorkies, they were bred to be super small so that they could chase and catch rats in British mines and mills. That's why lots of small dogs love to shake and chew and rip up their soft toys, because it reminds them instinctively of the prey that they used to catch. 10. Small dogs get a lot of attention. So, because big dogs are, well, big, they tend to get approached less by strangers since their size makes them a lot more intimidating. But with small dogs, it's the opposite. If you have a small, cute dog, chances are it will get a lot of attention from strangers who want to pet it. Dogs are just like us. Some of us love to chat and meet new strangers, and others of us just prefer to stick to ourselves. Which is why when I met these cute French bulldogs, I only greeted them after they had approached me first and indicated that they wanted to say hello. 11. Smaller dogs can be much harder to potty train. And that is for two reasons. The first is that since they're small, so are their bladders. But the second reason is a bit more surprising. Because they're so small, it means that they have faster metabolisms than big dogs. This means that they process their food faster, resulting in more urine production. In addition, it also means that small dogs eat more per pound that they weigh than big dogs, and this food that they eat turns into, you guessed it, pee. And when small dogs are little puppies, they have even smaller bladders and even faster metabolisms, which is why they need to pee so much. 12. Small dogs still try to protect you. For example, did you know that when your dog curls up and sleeps with its back against you with its head facing away, that it's instinctively doing this to protect you? That's because when dogs lived as wolves in the wild, they would sleep like this so their heads would all face in different directions. That way, if a predator, such as a tiger, were to approach them, one of them would smell it so that they could alert and protect their pack. And so, if your dog ever sleeps like this, it's because even though they're little, they still have this instinct to try and protect us. Aren't dogs wonderful? So how many of these things does your dog do? Let us know in the comments. And to learn more about why dogs do the weird and strange things they do, be sure to watch the next video here on screen about dog psychology. Starbuck and I will see you in the next video.